Now at six, it's a day that ends slavery in the United States. Today, our community and the rest of the country celebrating Juneteenth, the day when the last enslaved black Americans in Texas found out they were free. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cordley Barnett. After a congressional action this week, Juneteenth is now officially recognized as a federal holiday. In South Florida, several festivities are taking place. And our own Bobeth Yates joins us live from Overtown with a look at some of those events. Bobeth. Well, Carly, this event has been going on since noon. It includes music, food, and fun and games. It was just a family fun atmosphere for the entire community. But as you mentioned, this wasn't just about the fun and games. In fact, organizers say part of the celebration is to educate the community about Juneteenth. Now, this is the 20th Juneteenth celebration in the Overtown community, but organizers say this year's festivities are a lot more special because, as you mentioned earlier, Juneteenth became official holiday, official federal holiday when it was signed into law by President Biden. It commemorates the last day enslaved African Americans found out that slavery had ended. That was two years after slavery had officially abolished. This was a part of history that our people did not know about. So when a co-worker of mine brought it to me, this is why we started doing this event. We want folks to know a part of their history, where they come from. Even though this was two years later that the slaves found out they were free, we still have a long way to go. So we want this to be a day of celebration. This included a lot of music. There has been a steady flow of musicians on the stage performing moment after moment, just different songs. And one of those uh, people that performed was a Grammy-nominated artist. That was Jay Holiday. We caught up with him. Take a listen of what he had to say about today's event. It's just a good time, man. You get to see the kids running around. And it's, it's just a little more important. It's not about the, the flash and, and all of that. You know, when you go to a concert, everybody want to put on the expensive stuff. But this is it's nice. It's a little hot, but it's nice. Now, coming up at uh, 7, we'll have more details about Juneteenth festivities all over South Florida and, you know, what the community has to say about it. Live in Overtown, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News. Sounds like quite the party out there, Bobeth. Thank you.